This is part three of electrolytic cells for chemistry 12, electroplating. Uh, we have already done predicting the flow of all ions in the cell, um, electrolytic cells in general, as well as the half reactions. Uh, electroplating is using the electrolytic process to reduce a metal or plate it out at the cathode. The cathode, remember, is the one that usually gains in mass. Uh, the cathode is the material that will be plated, whatever you'd like to plate. And uh, the electroplating solution could, should contain the ions of the metal which are to be plated. The anode can be made of the same material to be plated, which will actually uh, help the reaction out a little bit. But Or you can make it of an inert material. Either way will, will work. For the first example, uh, design an electrolytic cell to plate a child's booty with silver. Label the anode the cathode, write out the half reactions for each, show the flow of electrons, the correct battery placement, and the electrolyte. Pause this video, uh, attempt to do that, and then continue on to see if you're right. Okay, the first step is to actually draw the cell. Hopefully you've drawn something that looks a little bit like this. So we have our two electrodes, uh, one being the child's booty here, and then we have our uh, anode over here. So now we can already start off by labeling this. The child's booty, of course, will be on the cathode. And our solution will be... There's our anode. Now we wanted to plate it with silver, so our solution uh, should be something like silver nitrate means we will have silver ions, nitrate ions in solution. Uh, let's make our anode solid silver. It uh, could be an inert electrode as well, but solid silver is fine. Electrons always flow from anode to cathode. Now to determine what reactions are going to uh, take place, we need to look at our species and see what the lowest uh, cell voltage uh, we can have for this electrolytic cell. So again, let's use our table of uh, reduction potentials. Here we have a mini table. Um, our possible reactions are with water. We also have uh, the silver ion as needed to plate, and we used a silver anode. Well, then our possible reactions are to give off hydrogen gas or oxygen gas. Uh, we need to plate the silver, but we also can generate the silver. Well, this reaction then would have require net input of zero volts. You would have plus 0.8 and minus 0.8. That is actually the reaction that will happen. Um, seems somewhat unusual the first time you see it, but you just need to pl uh, apply enough voltage to sort of overcome the resistance in the wire and start the reaction going. Um, this will generate the silver ions in solution as, uh, from the anode and will plate uh, the little child's booty at the cathode. So our two reactions then are at the cathode, Ag plus, plus electrons, go to Ag solid, and at the anode, Ag solid, goes to Ag plus, plus an electron. And that is an example of an electrolytic cell that would plate uh, something like a, a child's booty with silver. Now let's say for your particular example, you did not have a silver anode, but in fact, you had an inert anode. So you wouldn't have this reaction. What type of cell would you then have? Well, under these circumstances, say you have an inert carbon rod, then we would have to relook at our reactions. Under this new condition with an inert electrode, our species would then be, we would still have the silver in solution, we'd still want our silver nitrate solution, uh, we would no longer have a silver anode, but we would have these two water reactions. So this is the strongest agent here. So this reaction would happen, 
and then this reaction would happen. So instead of uh, being a, um, a silver oxidation and reduction, we will have a uh, silver reduction and a water oxidation to produce oxygen gas. Under these circumstances, we would expect bubbles of oxygen gas to be given off at the anode, and the reaction that we would write here would actually be this one. And that would be the important reaction to give off oxygen gas. And it would go that way. I won't uh, rewrite it here, but we would expect oxygen gas to be coming off. So two types. You could have used a silver anode, in which case uh, silver ions uh, would come off. Or you can use just an inert anode, in which case you will just plate out the silver that's in solution. Using an inert anode won't last as long. Uh, you'll just use up all the silver that's in solution. Um, but it will still work. And that is a review of electroplating. Uh, which is a process in which you can plate a material at a cathode um, of a metal using uh, an electrolytic cell. And this is the end of part three of electrolytic. <laughs>